shade while you can. I'm grateful that you all showed up for our annual uh, fourth celebration. Um, since we moved everything to this weekend, uh, we were asked to start off this weekend festivities uh, with our concert tonight. As you well know, then there's the big bonfire and festivities at the beach tomorrow. Uh, and of course, it's going to be a real hot one. Uh, we are, again, for those of you the first time here, we are the South Shore Bay Band. Uh, in between novels, I'll talk a little bit about who we are and our mission and what we do here. I would like to be able to do as much music as possible uh, between now and 8 o'clock. Uh, so we have quite a uh, show to present to you. Um, as usual, uh, part of our fundraising in the summer is to uh, raise money for our scholarship fund. So we always do a raffle. Uh, one of our band members is great, gracious enough to donate uh, some seats in the family section. Uh, over here in our red shirt over here, all right, we have all right, Andy Felix who's going to be selling raffle tickets. So you can buy one raffle ticket for $5 or you can buy three for $10. And in return, if you win, you will get four tickets 
uh, for Tuesday night, August 7th, between the Red Sox and the Texas Rangers in the family section, 7.10 uh, p.m. Uh, tap-off time, okay, for the game. So again, if you are at all interested, uh, Andy will be coming around, or you can talk to him. You can buy as many tickets as you wish. Again, $5 for one, $10 for three, and that would include four tickets to a Red Sox game on Tuesday night, August 7th. Uh, we opened up with a march. Um, again, we do a variety of types of things. Uh, we do some show tunes, some jazz tunes, some rock tunes, uh, some Latin tunes, some traditional concert band literature, as well as marches and so forth. Uh, our second number here is a piece called Encanto. I brought it in the book a couple of years ago, and uh, it has some nice sections. Most of the concert literature we do, the traditional, more of the traditional, uh, most of it, not all of it, comes in three movements. A fast movement, a slow movement, then back to fast again. So this is one of those types of, it starts off with a lot of notes and lots of rhythm, and it's a fast up-tempo, all right? But we do have a fanfare in the beginning, which is all brass, if I'm not mistaken, on this number. And then we will go into a fast tempo, then we'll slow it right down, and then we'll end again in a fast tempo. This is called Encanto. Thank you. 
We don't usually like to be this far away from our audience, but it's better to be on, for us, on pavement rather than grass so the sound will go out. Maybe if it, when the sun goes down it gets a little cooler, feel free to move closer. It's a lot easier for you, for you to move up. Um, so that's typical of some of the traditional things we do. Um, we're going to do another one here, which is very, very different. This piece is called An Irish Rhapsody. Um, American composer Claire Grundman. Uh, we have several things in our book by um, this composer. And this was a nice medley of some Irish tunes, okay? This is simply called An Irish Rhapsody.
Thank you. This next tune is called Akawada. Um, it has, a, again, a fast section in it. It has a lot of rhythm. Uh, again, we'll go around and we'll feature certain individuals and so forth. And we'll be able to uh, feature a lot of our solo players. And then there's another slow section. And we have some handy people doing all kinds of chores, which is nice. Okay. And then I'll talk a little bit about who we are, where we came from, how we started and all that. While we catch our breath a little bit. And I notice the sun is beginning to go down, so it'll be a lot more pleasant out here for everyone. Thank you.
for those of you who do not know, this is an all-volunteer group. These are all working members uh, who do regular day jobs. Some of us are retired. Some of us have still been working. Some of us are graduating from high school. Some are in college. But everybody volunteers. Nobody gets a penny for doing this. They just love to do it. So I always commend them for giving up weekends and beach days for doing this. <clears throat> We sort of started out in 1994 uh, with 10 people. I was one of them. And we have a member way back there that was part of that original group. And we did one show in a little field. I think we played two numbers for about 10 minutes and we went home. And that was our first job because we didn't have enough players. Uh, and then we started to get expanded a little bit more. And then I took over in 97 as director and Right away, we set up a board, and we decided, well, look, it's a community band, let's make it a community band, meaning that it doesn't have to just be adults. It can be high school and college, too. So we opened it up to anybody who wanted to participate in this group. Whether you didn't play an instrument for 30 years and decided you wanted to play, you always had a chance to come in this group and try. And if you liked it, you could stay. Okay? And most of the members came, and we started to build it. So now we're up, when we have the full complement of people, we have 48 people in our band now. And this has been pretty much the way it has been the last 10 years. Um, after that, and we started to play around at a few more places, then we said, well, let's, let's put what is going to be our mission as a community band. So we decided that since we don't get paid, anything we can get from donations or if we play a festival and they give us some money to perform and all that, we'll put into a scholarship fund. And then what are we going to do with the scholarship fund? Well, we'll give it to graduating seniors. Uh, they did not have to be in our band, although many have over the years, but we have grown and pretty much a lot of the South Shore communities are represented in our band. So we left it up that high school members that were graduating, whether they went on to college and music or not, uh, didn't matter, but we wanted them to write up a little resume of their middle school and high school career, especially high school of what they did musically and all that. And then we would go through all of these resumes and every year we would get around 25 or 30 of these we have a committee that goes through them, right? and then we would pick out three or four members each year, and then on awards night before graduation, we would go and give them a scholarship that ranged anywhere from $300 to $500 a year. In addition to that, uh, we give at least every single year, for the last 12 or 13 or 14 years, $1,000 to $1,500 to the music promoters of Duxbury to do with what they want with the music department doesn't go into the regular funding, it goes right to them, and they can do whatever they would like to do. So that's been our mission for the last dozen years or so, and we have come up with quite a few uh, thousands of dollars that we have given out in scholarships. Um, we do have, let's see, I think four members with us this year, they're all graduated, and gonna go on to college. We have a couple of people missing, okay, but we have at least three tonight, all right? We have, over here we have, Michelle um, here on clarinet, we have Leah, and we have Zach all on clarinet, they're all going to go. Uh, missing from our graduating class because he couldn't get out of work tonight, okay, is Dan Felix, okay, but he'll be joining us later on in the summer. And we have a couple of college people who are not able to attend because of work tonight that have come back this summer, and we've had that over the years, that every now and then some of the people that participated will come back from college and join our group. But we usually have one or two members uh, that you know have been with us, and some of our members have been here since middle school, and so at least five or six years, um, and they're all going to go on. So that's a brief, quick history of what we do. Okay, we are a seasonal band, meaning that we start rehearsing in January, and then we get ready and we perform in June, July, occasionally in early August, and then we disband for the fall, and then we start regrouping again and we start finding out where we're going to play and getting contracts and stuff out, and then we come back again to it. All right, we're going to change directions a little bit now. We're going to do a piece called Big Band Signatures. These are some of the famous excerpts of some of the band leaders that we had since the 30s and 40s and 50s and so forth with some of their signature tunes. Uh, I'm sure many of you that were teenagers and young adults in the 30s, 40s, and 50s would recognize many of these tunes. This is just called Big Band Signatures. There'd be a little bit of Stan Kenton in here, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Glenn Miller, and so forth, okay? So we're gonna be doing now a little bit of a jazz medley.
This next piece is another Claire Gredman piece. Um, I've had this in the book about a dozen years or so. I have not often played it. I think the last time we played this was about five years ago, but I thought it might be appropriate this year. And this is based on Civil War, tunes of the Civil War. It's called Civil War Fantasy. So it has a lot of those tunes uh, that we saw, you know, go with that, that we all sung as uh, childhood and school and so forth, uh, ending with a nice, uh, you know, closure to the whole uh, particular piece that he's noted for. So this is a nice piece. Uh, it has some nice tunes in it, all right, and it will, you know, conclude with a nice grand ovation here. Okay, the Battle Hymn of the Republic will be the ending part of the tune in here, but we have, you know, some of the southern tunes in here, as well as the northern tunes as well, but it's a nice medley of that particular era, the Civil War fantasy.
Thank you, thank you. It's a nice piece. We haven't played it in a while. It's the first time we played it this year in a long time. Uh, we're going to go back and do another one of those earlier type of pieces. This piece is called Antares. Again, it has a lot of running lines in it. It does have a slower section in the middle, and then we'll come back with a fast section. And then uh, I'll probably go into and play a little bit of Duke Ellington for you as well. But first, we're going to do this nice tune called Antares. Thank you. 
Almost every year I pull out an arrangement for Duke Ellington. In fact, I'm going to have to start finding some other arrangements because we've been playing these uh, two or three that we have. They're very, very nice arrangements and I like playing them. Uh, but I try not to do the same one every single year in a row. Uh, so this is a nice medley of Duke's tunes uh, that he made famous over his career. Uh, don't get around much anymore, sophisticated lady. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. And do nothing till you hear from me some of his all-time classics. Again, this will feature different members of our groups and sections. Okay, sometimes you might hear it coming out of the woodwinds, sometimes out of the brass and the trumpets, low brass and percussion. A little medley on Duke Ellington tunes.
Play one more and then take a short little break for you and then do another set. This last tune um, is from a fusion group back in the 60s. I bought this tune when I was teaching high school in Connecticut. I don't want to date myself, but at least 1974, okay, before I moved up here and started teaching at Berkeley. And this is a uh, piece by the fusion rock group called Chicago. They were a combination of jazz and rock. And in the late 60s, this became a very fashionable uh, Piece. And this particular arrangement is still out there and very, very popular, and it's still being bought and still being published after all of these years. Uh, so it's a nice medley of some uh, 19, late 1960s, uh, early 70s rock group by the group Chicago, and then we'll take a short little break, and then we'll come back and do a second set for you. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to take a little break. Feel free to walk around. If you want to buy some tickets, okay? We're over here for the uh, Red Sox tickets. Right, we'll be back shortly, okay, in about five, ten minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a brand new march uh, from John Williams. Um, that was from his movie score, theme from 1941. Right, for those of you who may have seen that, uh, so this is the first time we have had it in our book. Uh, so this is about the third time we have played that. Uh, we're gonna now do another concert number. This is called Chesapeake Bay Adventure. I brought this in the book last year, and it's a nice medley of tunes. Um, so it's a nice collection, again, it has that fast, slow, fast section again in it, and it does feature different members of our group. And then I'll start uh, turning the rest of our concert into more of medleys of uh, some contemporary pieces and some uh, uh, jazz tunes and some rock tunes as well as some Latin tunes, okay? But first I want to do this Chesapeake Bay Adventure.
Uh, this next piece I brought into our library last year, and we played it a couple of times, and I'd like to do it again for you this evening. Uh, this is music uh, by Ray Charles, uh, the genius of Ray Charles and some of his uh, pieces. Uh, Can't Stop Loving You, I Love Him So, Let the Good Times Roll, What I Say, and a nice uh, trumpet solo uh, with Scott over here on Georgia On My Mind, so a nice medley of tunes by Ray Charles.
next piece is uh, one of two that I have in our library on Frank Sinatra music, so I thought I'd bring this one out this year again. Salute to Old Blue Eyes, has some nice medleys of tunes. They've been around a long time. Everybody in this audience has heard them at least one time, if not many, many times. Okay. Uh, I've got you under my skin, Strangers in the Night, That's Life, and they is a tramp. Okay. Four medley tunes made famous by Old Blue Eyes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. We're going to do uh, one more uh, concert piece for you. This is called uh, Charleston Harbor Celebration and the rich history of that particular harbor All right, going back even before our Civil War and so forth. But the, uh, the whole area of that Charleston Harbor and, South, and Charleston. So we're going to do that and then after that we will do a Latin number for you and then we'll end up with a rock number and then as always we will end with our march to stars and stripes. Uh, but first we're going to do our Charleston Harbor.
Okay, we're going to do this Latin feature now. Uh, this has uh, Brazil in it, uh, Perfidia's in it, Mambo Jumbo. Okay, so uh, I won't be looking at you, but if you have ears you want to dance around, go ahead, feel free.
again, I want to thank you for coming out. This is a nice evening. Um, I'm glad we're not doing this tomorrow afternoon at 95 degrees sun. So this is a nice evening to do this. Uh, so tomorrow, at least you'll be on the cool beach with those festivities. We're going to end our program with a, uh, a medley of tunes. Uh, this is called 80s Flashback. Uh, some rock tunes, some movie tunes, okay, uh, all in that pop rock vein. And then we will end with our March Stars and Stripes. Again, I want to thank all of you for coming out. I hope we have entertained you in some way.
So thank you again. Um, we've been working on pieces like this for a number of years. Um, you know, coming from Berkeley, I had to teach them all to play syncopation because everything that we're playing was straight all the time. So we're trying to play some Duke Ellington straight. You can't do that. We're trying to play rock tunes like this. You can't do that. So we worked at it and worked at it and worked at it. Finally, they came around. So now it's getting to be much more easier, and they love doing that. Um, so we have a lot of fun playing a lot of these tunes. So I hope we have giving you a mixture of some tunes for tonight. And uh, we should be back here again, as we always have for, for years and years now, to entertain you again next year. I'm not quite sure what day that will be. It's somewhere around, sometime around the 4th or right after. I imagine probably another Friday or Saturday. So we are going to finish now with the Stars and Stripes. You all know how to do that goes. You certainly can clap along. Um, it's going to feature our two piccolo players over here, okay, Janine, okay, and Beverly in the middle part. So be on the lookout for those two players. Thank <laughs> you. 